here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I am going to try out, review, demo this new to me product. I do believe it's a fairly new invention called a Cutalola Dots Pen. And what this does is it eliminates the need for stippling when you're sketching. So if you're an illustrator or an artist who likes to do a lot of stippling pen and ink work, you can uh, kind of save yourself the um, the time and this the, the tip of the pen, I'll show you, kind of goes in and out. Do you see that? So when you draw, you get these lovely little dots on your paper. And it's actually quite easy to use. It has two speeds. So if you press it twice really quick, then you get this, the fast speed. And that's what I'm gonna work on today. And the ink, it's got kind of like a gel ink in here. And the gel ink is actually waterproof, quite waterproof. I did uh, quickly just charge it the other day just to make sure it was um, working, not to really do much with it, just to make sure it was working. And um, I did just put some watercolor over my little doodles and it did, um, it stayed pretty true. I, I found that if you let it sit a little longer, you get a better, more waterproof image. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm doing a um, an illustration of a poppy here. And so I'm just kind of freehanding it. I'll put a link to the reference photo that I'm using. I find that I want to work, I like to work fast, so it's not that big of a deal, but you do have to um, kind of be careful because you'll get a tighter line if you, um, if you kind of, uh, if you slow down and you have it on the high speed, but I, I prefer the line from the high speed. I seem, it seems to whack the paper a little bit harder and deposit a little bit more of the, um, of the ink. You just don't want to press it too hard because you don't want it to, uh, you don't want to damage it. So you basically hold it about three millimeters over the paper. Yeah, like I'll tend to lift up and then I get like, uh, then I get nothing on my paper. <laughs> So this actually won uh, some German illustration award, I think, or new invention award. And apparently, I have not put it to the test, but apparently it will um, work for about 40 minutes on a charge. You can use it plugged into your, it charges via USB. You can use it uh, plugged into the charger, but, um, but I find it makes it very cumbersome and difficult to want to hold on to when you do that. But actually, I found it to have a very um, a very shallow learning curve. Like, I mean, I'm just sketching like I would. Now, I think this would be the most useful for an illustrator. Like when I was doing rubber stamp design and I was doing um, uh, you know, digital stamp design, it would really, if I wanted to do a stippled design, it would take so long. Um, so this could definitely reduce your, your stippling time probably by, uh, 75%. So if it took you four hours to illustrate something and you could get it done in an hour, I really think so. Like I don't have any practice with this and I'm finding it very easy to go in there and add the stippling shading. You know, it's quite, quite simple. I can go and make an area darker just by going in there and letting it do its thing. I am gonna do a watercolor wash over this, but I wanted to just kind of get some, uh, some color in there first. And I wanna put another flower over here. Let's do this one. I'm gonna, I'm pretty much just going by what I see in the reference photo here. And paint my photo. I love that website. Oops. Okay, so it seems like my battery's gone dead. Let's plug it into the to, to the uh, computer. We got a computer right here handy. So I didn't get the charge that I was hoping for. As you can see, I've got four minutes of charge. I was uh, supposedly a full charge, and I've had it in the case. So my kids haven't gotten a hold of it. So that's kind of a bummer. But then again, I charged it two days ago. Maybe it just doesn't keep its charge. I don't know. So I'm gonna plug it in here. And uh, we'll continue on for the sake of the demo. I don't think, I feel, it feels very unbalanced though to try to do this while it's plugged in. Um, one thing to note is that the, um, the size of the barrel is kind of big. It is a battery operated 
um, device. So obviously it has to have some girth to it and it's holding like a, a good sized ink cartridge. Uh, the ink cartridges are, re you know, you can buy replacement ink cartridges and they look very similar to the kind that you'd get for your fountain pens. I'm adding another petal in there because I think I went a little, a little off with my sketch. Oh, you know what though? I probably should t have not have this on a thing of blotter paper because I noticed where it's uh, where my thing and my paper isn't flat. It kind of gives me little dashes instead of um, instead of dots. But that's my that's me, not the pen. I like these little poppy buds. I think they're fun. It is kind of a fun thing. This pen, I believe, is about sixty or seventy dollars on Amazon. So you know, it's definitely a considered purchase. Not a fling. I think if you're an illustrator, you might find it to be very worthwhile. Because, I mean, if you charge by the hour and, you know, a job that normally takes you, or you charge by the by the project and a project that normally would take you four hours to stipple, if you can do it in an hour, I mean, time is money. So I could totally see that. Um, I was, will say it's very easy to use. I think if you have any, like, uh, issues, like, with hand cramping or anything, though, you may find this to be cumbersome. Um, but look at that, I've sketched that in six minutes, even given the fact that I had to plug it into the charger. So I think that's kind of cool, quite frankly. Um, I'm going to put some leaves in here. And just kind of get that in like that. And I think I'll do a little bit of shading. I'm just going to add anywhere, like a petal's overlapping. Add some shading. I don't think I should be working on a padded surface, I'll tell you that. You know what? I'm going to move my blotter. Let me hit it. Wait, how do you do it to shut it off? Okay, I can't seem to shut this off. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Hit it twice really quick and then once to shut it off. All right, see, you're totally getting a first impression here. I'm going to do this right on the flat table because I think that I'm making it bounce too much. No, hitting it twice just so I can get that. Oh yeah, this works so much better on a hard surface. It probably says that in the directions. Oh, and you can hear it. But the me the mechanics are are quiet. It's the uh, it's the it hitting the the pen tip hitting the um, the paper that makes the noise. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I can see why it won an award. I really think this would be great for illustrators, cartoonists, anybody that is um, that's making a living illustrating, or somebody that that uh, you know just likes to draw. Because I was kind of this actually sat on my shelf for a couple weeks because I was like, oh, I don't have time to learn this new technology. But you could see I'm not speeding this up. This is live narration. It's pretty quick and easy to use. I'm pretty. And I'm probably taking a little more time with the sketch here just because I want you to really see it in action. Okay, so I think that's all I really want to do to this one. You can build up thicker stippling, like build up a more dense color. You could also use this on like plain rubber stamp designs if you wanted to. So hit it twice to go to slow and then once to turn it off. So um, I think that's uh, that's kind of fun. So what I'm going to do now is just grab some watercolors and we're going to add a wash to this. Okay, so I've got my watercolors. I'm just going to uh, do a little bit of a wash. I'm going to start by adding my paint right into the area where I've stippled it the most. And then I'm just going to squeeze my brush off and drag it out. And I think the water pump is going to come on in just a second. So I may have to pause the video again. Bring in a little bit more color there. But since you're working on top of pen and ink, you really don't have to um, do as much as you do if you are working on um, just a regular, you know, just a regular sketch or if you're freehanding it or freehanding the paint rather. So you can really let the um, the dots show through there. 
show you that. Let's do a little green on the leaf here. Maybe a little bit of yellow ochre and green. Do a little yellow ochre there. And so with the yellow, you can really see whether it's going to lift or not. It seems to be, it seems to be, um, be holding good. But I, you know what? I'm going to tell you when I pause the camera, I did hit it with my heat tool just to make sure that the ink was set because I didn't want it to, uh, didn't want it to run if it, you know, because it wasn't fully dry. That's something you always want to keep in mind there. That's kind of pretty. I'm going to do, do the sap green here. I'm fair, working on a fairly thin, smooth watercolor paper. I think I'm actually using a Strathmore Aquarius. Not 100% sure, but that's what I think I'm using right now. And I'm going to do a little bit of mauve on the tip of that bud. I'm going to zoom in a bit. That's probably kind of far away for you guys. Oops, sorry about the jiggle there. A little bit of mauve. I'm working with my Cotman colors today. I wanted something that was nice and transparent so that the ink didn't get covered up. And I like how that uh, kind of browns up there. So I'm just adding a little bit of that mauve for shadow as well. Then as it dries, I can go in and um, go in a little bit more intense with the mauve. I could actually do that right now, right over where I put the stipple lines. Go right over here, do the same thing there. Just kind of fun. I'll just go in and add that there and go into my green. Tiny bits of, of paint here. So, you know what? This was fun. I kind of was skeptical. I was like, oh, I don't know. But I was also really intrigued by this. So when they asked me if I wanted to review it, I said, you know, that sounds really cool. <laughs> so I did. Um, and I am pleasantly surprised. I also want to do a shadow with that mauve here on the bottom of that stem, I think, while I'm at it. Come in with my green. And not bad. I mean, for a quick sketch like that, I think that's super fun. Maybe I should... I'm going to move that over there. There, we can see quite a bit there. I'm going to skip over here since I have um, the paint is wet over there. Now, oh, you can see right there... And I think it's probably because I didn't heat set it long enough. I can see a little bit of paint running there, uh, ink running there, but I, I, you know, I just honestly just did it for a second. So, you know, make sure that's, that's what I mean. Make sure that you give it time to dry or you heat set it if you're going to be doing a, like a wash over it. But, you know, I was really surprised. I, when I first got it, I'm like, well, I wish I could do a watercolor wash on it because I hadn't read the instructions. And then when I saw that, um, that you totally can do the wash over. I was so psyched. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I think I liked with this paper better um, adding my color in where I had stippled and then dragging it out. Oh, and by the way, you can do dots with a pen, with like a micron or uh, or whatever. It'll take you some time, but you can totally do that look without uh, without that tool. That's just, it's just a time saving tool. That's all it is. It's not going to make you a better artist. You don't have to be, you know, a great artist to use it. It's, it's a tool just like any, any other pen. It's something to aid you in your artistic journey. Okay. So I don't want you to feel like you can't do this project. Oh man, I want to stipple. Yes, totally. You can stipple, get a pen, dot, dots. Just make sure it's waterproof if you want to, um, if you want to use water on it. That's, that's all. Not a big deal. Just be careful if you go next to an area that's still wet with fresh paint that you don't, um, that you don't get your colors running. I'm just putting paint and dragging it over to blend. Nothing too fancy. Sorry, I didn't have a video yesterday. It was uh, crazy. Today was a kid's day off from school. I was on This Crafty Life with um, Melody Lane and May May Helms over on the channel May May Made It. That was super fun today. And I did a little mixed media demo. If you are looking for some more crafty goodness and you want to go check that out, uh, it was super fun to be on the show and be interviewed. Felt all legit, you know? It's like, wow, people want to hear what I have to say. That's so awesome. I'm just keeping this one really light because this petal is out in front. And that got a little cray cray. We're just going to bluff that. There we go. So 
Let's go around here, spread out. Whoops, I just dropped water on there. Not a big deal. Nothing's a big deal. Not when you're making art and having fun, right? Your kids are probably off from school today. If you're in the United States, it is a holiday, bank holiday. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yes, uh, remember the uh, the great man. Remember our history, so we don't repeat it, right? Okay, and so this is going to be pretty dark in the middle, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring that red right down. Again, these petals are kind of in front the way we are looking at it, so I just want to keep the the color really light. Gonna do a little, uh, little blotting for texture. Pops have that crepey, cool crepey uh, texture. Give a little bit of, a uh, little bit of splashes of color there. And let's give it a little color in the center. I think I'm gonna do a few colors. I'm gonna do that green. And then I'm gonna go in with that mauve because I really think those colors you know, um, look good. And the paper's a little damp and that's okay because I kind of want some uh, deep shadows and roughly edges. And it's just a sketch, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Leaf sketch, something you do in your art journal, something you would... I was just going to say this pen would be fun to have when you're out and about sketching if the um, if the charge holds. Now, like I said, I charged it up on Saturday, I think, so, and I hadn't used it, but it's been sitting in the little can, so... I, but it's still, I would I would have thought that it would have held a charge longer than that. So that's something you'd have to consider if you were to buy this and you were like, I don't know, traveling with it. You'd have to make sure you had some sort of power supply for it, or you would have to manually dot, and that takes away the uh, point of having that pen. Well, there you have it. A quick little poppy sketch done with the dots pen and watercolors. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to help you out. Here is a look at the box. What you get is... Um, the pen, a cable cord with USB charger, um, the pen has a pen cap to protect it, and you get a set of, um, it comes with one ink and you have five other inks, and then you can store your little USB charger in there, and um, I think it's fun. I think it would really save a lot of time for illustrators. Just be mindful that the barrel is large to hold, and if you have to have it hooked um, to your USB, it may be a little cumbersome to draw with, but that, bearing that in mind, I really think it's a fun product, and, um, you might want to give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting!